Hello, golf friends, and welcome to Tour Swing Tuesday. What is the proper wrist hinge in the golf swing? We're going to talk about that today on today's lesson. Hi, this is Gary Bates from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. So I like to get up players from all of the tours, and I thought, why not the AM Tour, those top amateurs around the country? And we're in Oklahoma this week working with some players, and we ran to Carson Tool right here. I wanted to show you his swing. Very fine amateur here in Oklahoma, a collegiate player. I finished twi- the last two years a second in the Oklahoma st- uh, State stroke play. I tidy 11 under last year, so really playing excellent golf. Let's take a look at his motion and uh, here with a nine iron. So I really like this swing. You can tell he's gotten great instruction along the way, some, some outstanding fundamentals. Let's take a look, and we'll talk about wrist hinge here. Okay, so nine iron or so right here in the, in the middle of the stance. Excellent. That allows you to hit ball divot. Very nice neutral grip right here with Carson. And let's take a look at this backswing because this is as good as it gets in my mind. Why do I like it? I like that he stays rotary. Watch his left hip staying close to that line so he doesn't get any sway or kick out with his lower body. That's huge. Look at the width with the left arm, right? And he hinges a little bit later, and that's fine. You know, a lot of people ask me about the wrist hinge, and there's a lot of variation there among good players. Some hinge a little early, some hinge a little late. The main thing is that you hinge, that you get a 90-degree angle between your left arm and your shaft, where Carson does right here. Now, I was working with a player last week, and uh, gosh, it was amazing. I'd never had anybody make this kind of improvement, but the gentleman's club head speed... Lou was about 75 miles an hour when we started. Newer player, very little wrist hinge. The club was way too much in the palm of his left hand. He didn't hinge properly. So I said, Lou, let's get this hit, let's get this uh, grip right. Let's hinge more. Let's get your body movement. He moved his club head speed up from 75 to 99. Literally hit the ball 100 yards longer. Three to four mile uh, yards per, per mile per hour of club head speed. That puts you in that area. So 155 to 255. Now, is everybody going to do that? No, but you come see me, we'll get you hitting it farther. Okay. So good turn right here. I probably see like to see maybe a little less head movement with an iron. That's probably okay for a driver, but love the shoulder turn. He's a young guy. You see this tremendous X factor, right? So big shoulder turn, not much hip turn and left hip next to the line. So you see this move with a number of good players, uh, not Rory. Well, he probably does it too, but Bryson DeChambeau and Ricky Fowler come to mind with a right hip actually moves away from that line. Very easy to get in the left side from there. Super. Starting down with the lower body right here. Now, I like to see Carson probably be a little bit more dynamic with his lower body because I love this swing. I like to see him have a little more two-way motion. In other words, start his lower body a little earlier, uh, maybe three quarters of the way back in his backswing, get some more pull with his lower body and move quickly through, rotate faster. His club head speed with his driver, you were saying, was right around 112 or so, 110 and 112. I think he can get another three or four miles per hour if he snaps through the hitting area a little faster. But, you know, otherwise, very nice right here. Head down in position, right? Compression with the head, back in position. Good width right here. Let me see him a little maybe faster off his right foot, but that's just my opinion on it. And uh, all the way up on the right toe. So just a really nice swing with Carson playing good golf. Watch out for him moving forward. And I'll also say this, that when we were practicing hit balls with Carson, we did a drill. It's really cool. I recommend to you a lot. Throw five balls down. He did this from 140 because that was his weakness from 125 to 150. That yardage, tour average is about 25 feet away, 25.3 average in that, in that length, 125 to 150. So he hit five balls. We averaged them out. He was at about 19 feet for this particular five that we did. Fantastic. So do that. Find out where you are in terms of your dip. This is scoring irons, right? 125 to 150, be great at it. Throw five balls down, maybe 140, hit them on the green, pace them off, see what your average distance is, get it low. Thanks for tuning in. More information, Gary Bates Golf Academy over there on Facebook. All the information. We have lots of great programs for you. Um, hey, any questions or concerns or thoughts, fire them over to us on YouTube after you subscribe, of course. I love to hear what you have to say. Well, I like to hear what your thoughts are. And also, you probably saw the logo right there come up the screen. Hit that logo. There's a video next to it. Hey, join our community. We have tons of fun. We're always here to help you improve. We love doing these. Hope they help your game. So God bless you. Look forward to seeing you next time on Tour Swing Tuesday. Bye for now.